Okay, this is probably going to be pretty quick because I have a bunch of stuff to do this weekend, but I wanted to get something out. So this is the Linux Mint default desktop with the Cinnamon desktop environment. I just uh, changed up from Pop! OS a little bit ago because I do that. I'm just, I'm nutty. I just change distros all the time. Anyway, Linux Mint, this is the, not the new 22 version, this is 21.3. However, I did change it up a bit. Um, I did some things off the bat. Well, first of all, let me show you. I changed the, the look and feel here. So this is my desktop right now. Uh, different wallpaper, obviously. But you can see that I have a what appears to be a dock down here. And the menu bar is up at the top. There was a very simple to follow online guide on how to do this. Um, I have it here. This guy, Linux Ort, did a real nice step-by-step -step on how to do just what I have here. I changed it up slightly, but this is what they had. Um, also, a couple of things I did was I replaced uh, Firefox with Brave. I've just I've gotten to like Brave more recently. And uh, I updated the Linux kernel. As you can see, this one has kernel version 6.5. The one, the Linux Mint default ver version comes with um, kernel 5.5, which is fine. I just, I wasn't, I didn't need to update it. I just, you know, because I do stuff like that. <laughs> you can update the kernel through the uh, the update manager. And if you go into view, it'll show you kernels. <clears throat> it'll give you a warning, you know, here be dragons and all that kind of thing. And then you go over here. And it shows you the, the kernels that are here that are installed. So this is the one I have. Well, actually, I can update again. Cool. That one just popped up. This is the one I had. This is the active one I have here, obviously. So there's a new one available. So I shall be doing that after this video. <laughs> anyway, that was just a quick... Uh, and by the way, the actual changes that I did to uh, Cinnamon were not that much. Cinnamon, is, it's, Cinnamon was originally based on GNOME, and I kind of like the, the GNOME, you know, set up with the dock and stuff, but I, it's, I didn't want to use too many extensions and things like that, so the only extension I think I really have is the, the weather thing up here, and the uh, transparent dock down here, and this is also set to auto-hide, so if I, like, open up you can see it disappears, so got that going for it. Um, but I only used a couple of extensions. I don't like to burden the system down. And that's the problem I had with GNOME. You seem to need to get a lot of extensions to get it to work reasonably normally, I, at least I think. Anyway, this is my current setup. Uh, I'm going to update my kernel now. So uh, I will link to the... Uh, the customization YouTube video below. It's very good. Um, and it's easy. To, it took me what, 10 minutes, maybe. I did update the icon theme also. I should tell you about that. Uh, if you go into, if you go into your explorer type thing and do a control I, you can get to see hidden icons. Control H, I'm sorry. You get to see hidden icons. And the icons will go in this dot icons folder. Um, which is already present in Linux Mint. Some some uh, distros don't have that set up. But Mint does. So you can see there's the circular icons I used here. And you can get them from uh, cinnamonlook.org, which I will also link down in this, the uh, description below. And that's really about it. Like I said, I just wanted to get something out this week. I thought this was kind of interesting. I think it looks kind of cool. I like it. Um, so, till next time, take care.